Hey everyone, welcome back to Live the Boat. We're here in Port Townsend, Washington at ACI Boats. We're just about to board one of their incredible 34 foot by 12 foot catamarans for a sea trial. Let's jump aboard this incredible cat and go for a ride. All right, let's jump on board this 34 by 12 foot catamaran. Hey. Joey here is gonna be our captain today from ACI. Welcome aboard. Thanks for taking the time, buddy. Yeah. No problem. Let's get out of here, man. Looking forward to seeing what this thing can do. Yeah, let's do it. Love the expansive aft deck on this 34 ACI. Nice workstation, but this is what's key right here. You got a fish on, and you got to get around those outboards. Now you can work right out onto the fish pod here. Work your fish all the way around the other side of the boat and get your fish in. Whereas before, you'd be blocked right here, Joey. Exactly. And you wouldn't be able to get out there. This is sweet, man. And then uh, below the deck here, got your gen set right here. Big Northern Lights gen set. Powers up everything. I noticed the 110 outlets everywhere in there. And then I love this feature too. This half tote here built right into the deck. That is awesome. Yeah, it's been a, um, a challenge to design to get it to integrate nice and clean. Yeah. And be able to pump it out. Well, you but guys got to figure it out, man. It's yeah, got a it pump on it great. too? Yeah. No it's got kidding. a gulper pump that'll yeah. you know, flush it. Well, wow, that's a nice setup, man. I love that. Yeah. And then you got gates both port and starboard. Yep. The gate here with this nice latch mechanism on it. And you can haul a fish right in there too. I can yep. see a big halibut coming through that door. Or shrimp pots, crab pots, right? Then yep. this is key. I love this feature right here that you guys custom build in here. This is rod storage in there that's lockable and a great place to store deck brushes, gaffs, whatever, right? Exactly. Yeah, it works great. You guys thought of everything, Joey. You got washdowns, port and starboard here and you've got your downrigger plugs up underneath here which is nice so you're not running into them all the time yeah plus that keeps them out of the weather a little bit too right yep it does and yeah. then uh got your downrigger pads here already installed for your downriggers and then this is a self-bailing deck with lots of uh, places for the water to get out of here you've even got a big open space underneath these doors so this thing can shed water quickly even out the fish pod there it's all open yep your cranking batteries Yep. Battery switches, all that stuff for your starting batteries. Yeah. Well organized. And then starboard side. You said uh, the customer spec'd out lithium iron phosphate batteries. And we've got two big banks of those in here, don't we? Yeah, there's some huge benefits to the lithium. Um, it's something we're trying to, you know, get up to speed and stay with the trends. Mm -hmm. It's uh, half the weight of a, you know, similar style battery. Yeah. And uh, a lot more capacity because yeah, people yeah. want to be able to use all their systems and not, For sure. you know, worry about draining their battery. Down. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt them when you kill these ones. You know, mm -hmm. you can charge them back up and they're good to go. Yeah. So new. No, I like that setup. Nice and clean, and then. Uh, the compartment here, I think you get your diesel tank for the furnace in there, and then tons of room down in there too to work. Yeah, you can store stuff. It's extra storage space. It's yeah. also access to all your pumps and your fittings and valves. Yeah. Um, your wash down pump, your through hauls, your transducers. Really easy to get to everything down there. And then you got another big box here. Yeah, so this is a crab live well or mm -hmm. uh, bait storage or whatever you want to use it, but it will fill with salt water and circulate. Oh, it's got a pump on it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I can see filling that thing with some Dungies or yeah. King Crab or something. And then uh, your stern steering station here, DTS controls with your active trim right on there. This is the Gen 2 setup here, which is nice. Joystick, um, steering station, VHF, everything you need to dock here when you pull in. You know, I noticed that you you slid this thing right over when we docked earlier. Yeah, that joystick feature is oh, it's just so nice. Yeah. And then your crab block. So this swings out here. Actually, you can open the gate and swing your pots right in here, right? Yep. Yeah, nice setup. And then, uh, of course, your crane. And uh, 
This crane will hold, you said 500 pounds or something? Or? Yeah, we rate it to 500 pounds. Yeah, just enough to swing a dinghy up there. Yep. Like the ultimate adventure rig for Southeast Alaska where this boat's going, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is, I think it's going to Petersburg. Yeah, this thing's gonna have prawns and crab and halibut and salmon all over it this <laughs> yep. summer, you know, and for years to come, the way it's set up. Uh, let's jump up on top here. I wanna show the cradle. And I want to look at that uh, that radar arch too. You built that so it folds down. I want to take a look at that real quick. Sure, so, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's go take a peek at that. Love the custom cradle. Customer's got a, a little cat they're going to sling up here. A little dinghy, right? Yep. And uh, so this is for the dinghy. And then you guys custom built this crane. Talk yeah. about what you did there because there's some neat little features on that crane, man. Sure, yeah. Instead of having your line exposed and your mm -hmm. winch up here in the weather, it's all, the winch is down below and the line is all ran through it. And you have access to your shivs to yeah. replace it. You just unbolt these and you can restring your line if you hmm. need to change it out. Um, Make that cable last a lot longer, right? Yeah. And it's going to Southeast Alaska. It's gonna see it's just fair amount of rain up there. So yeah. And then I love what you did here with this radar arch, Joey. You can uh, take this, unlatch that, and then this thing folds right over yeah. to give you clearance. This thing will drop right over the bow there. So now you can put this in a shop Yep. Um, go under a bridge maybe if you need to. Exactly. I like that. Yeah, everything can fold down up here. You know, you can remove the crane and yeah, and get a lot of clearance. Put the antennas down. Yep. Really nice. Let's check out the bow and then we'll go inside where it's nice and warm. Sounds good. Quick trip to the bow here. Love the big anchor puller, easy anchor. Tons of line on there it looks like for anchoring up for halibut, right? Yeah. I mean, you can change it however you want, you know, depending on the type of line you put. But yeah. They can hold a lot especially these bigger ones. Yeah, nice thing about this easy anchor, you can free fall this too. You can either go direct drive or you can free fall this. Controller's right here, so you can sit right up here, pull your anchor, and uh, whether you're halibut fishing or just anchored up in a cove for the night, really nice setup, super convenient. All right, let's head back to that cabin where it's nice and warm. All right, let's do it. Love the galley, man. A big sink there, tons of counter space. Yeah, nice big drawers. Oh yeah. Starboard bases on them, makes them really tough. I love this oven. I could just imagine baking up some halibut or some cinnamon rolls out on anchor in the morning, you know? Get your coffee going. Bake some fresh cinnamon rolls in there. And I uh, got your fridge freezer here, which is fairly good size, actually. Yeah. And you got your, uh, your countertop there, and you got your 110 outlet, so you can run your coffee pot or a blender or whatever you want here. Yep. Yeah, I like it, man. And then I love the size of the head here, Joey. Lots of room. And you said the, the floor drains too, so you can just rinse yeah, this out? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you can just hose it out, clean up any messes. Mm -hmm. uh, the sink faucet also pulls up and hangs on the wall for a shower. Yeah. Well, and really this cabin just offers so much space with a 12 foot beam. You got tons of room in here. You could be working over here on some on some dinner or lunch or something, and people can move in and out behind yeah. you. The kids could be coming and going. Yep. There's just so much space in here. We've got this great table set up here. Lots of room to put a bunch of people around here, Joey. And then does this uh, push down also into a, into a lounger or a day bed yeah. or something? Yeah, and we have a cushion made for it. Oh yeah, there you go. And you just drop her down. And nice. Got yourself a nice bed. Yeah, perfect. And then a couple of air ride seats forward here on the passenger side. Yep. Which are just outstanding. As well as the driver's side. Even though this boat rides so nice, having an air ride is just key. And then why don't you run us through the helm station here, Joey, really quick. Sure. And uh, take a peek at that here. Yeah, I, we try to lay it out so that it's, you know, user friendly and set up where it's ergonomical and easy to reach. And, um, you know, it's got all of your electronics and features that you want laid out with easy access. Um, up here, you've got the VHF and your searchlight, your compass, and then this is this light control, so you can switch it here. Like if you wanted to turn off all your cabin lights, you turn them off here. If you're running at night, and you can turn on just this light so you're not you know, ruining your night vision. Um, then you've got all your gauges and your engine controls. You've got your jack plate control here, and your horn and a USB charger, your wipers, extra USB plugs, bilge pumps, high water alarm, stereo. And then, you know, this is all per boat custom, just depending on what they want in their boat. Now you've got a massive cuddy up here, Joey, uh, with tons of room, man. You've got lighting, 110 outlets in here. 
You got your diesel heat in there as well. Yeah, a little storage there on the sides. You can see hunkering down in there. Camping trips in Southeast Alaska. And then up in the cuddy, you got access to all your electronics here too. I see Joey. Yeah, really it's nice access to. for uh, troubleshooting and replacing fuses or if you damage anything, it's, it's all right there. Yeah, really easy to get to in here. So and you've also got access to each hall underneath the cushions. There's a door you can open up to crawl down in there. It's been a little chilly out here today, Joey, and I think all of us at one point or another have had our hands on this custom heat bar that you guys make at ACI. This thing is super slick. This is your defroster, but it's also a great place to dry gloves, put your hands on there and warm your hands up. That's right. Really yeah. slick setup. We're pretty proud of it here. It's definitely a, a feature that we've developed that has made a big difference and people just love it. Oh man, it's got slots all the way down the backside where the, the air pours out onto the windows, keeps them nice and defrosted, but good goodness, I mean, putting your hands on there and getting them warmed up, this is incredible. Yeah, and it cleans up all the ducting that goes down below mm -hmm. so you don't have these soft lines that you can smash and get in the way. Yeah, no, I really like that. Now for the fun part of this walkthrough, Joey's gonna get this catamaran up on step. We're gonna show you the lack of bow rise on this cat. When it gets up on step, the bow just hardly even comes up at all. Jumps right up on step. Got reverse chine on the outside of both the sponsons, which really pushes this boat up out of the water. Hardly any bow rise. And we're, uh, we're already up to almost 40 miles an hour, just like that. Twin 400 Mercury outboards. And now I'm we're gonna, gonna brace it. ourselves and Joey is gonna throw this thing into a hard turn. And look at this. <laughs> no cavitation at all. The engines don't blow out. Look at that. On a set of reels. I don't think I've ever been on a boat that can do that. Of this size, that's, that's remarkable, buddy. Yeah. Joey just threw it to port here. Hard over to port. Hooked up again. No cavitation. I mean, it just almost turns around in its own length, you know. Wow. Now let's pull it back to cruise speed, Joey, and see if we can get that mile per gallon. We had that earlier. Yeah, sure. And um, let's see if we could get that. Bring us down to a nice cruise speed, around 30 miles an hour. Yeah. You can see our fuel burn here. And a mile per gallon is kind of the, the benchmark on a boat of this size. And uh, we had it earlier. We were, we were like 28 to 30 miles an hour. And we got it right there, mile per gallon right there. Yeah. Close to 30 miles an hour. That's really good economy on a boat of this size. 34 footer with a 12 foot beam. Yeah, with all of this of, space here. A lot of systems in here too. You yeah. know, the generator and the fish A lot of weight. And... But there's not a lot of hole in the water. Right. Either. You know, with those sponsons, they're really narrow. They slice right through the water. And uh, we're getting good fuel economy right there. Yeah. Mile per gallon, 28 miles an hour, 29 miles an hour. That's really good, buddy. You want to see what the top now let's speed see, is? Now let's see what this thing can do. It's a lot of boat, man. 44 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. Yeah, excellent, man. Yeah, what a blast. Wow. Thanks so much for taking the time, Joey. Really You're appreciate welcome. it. I'm still amazed how this thing hooked up in that corner. Yeah. yeah. 40, 42 miles an hour, laying it over hard. Just hooked up, man. About threw us out of our seats in there. <laughs> really cool. You guys do a wonderful job putting these boats together. A lot of great features here. And obviously the ride is just amazing. We saw that today. Don't forget to check out ACIboats.com. Give them a quick follow online. Also give Live the Boat a follow. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.